Hello everyone, this is John Byrne with Poets and Quants. Welcome to our series on the inside story from MBA admission gatekeepers, sponsored by Fortuna Admissions. Today we're gonna to talk about the most selective MBA program in the country, actually in the world. Stanford GSB, stands for Graduate School of Business, accepts only 6% of its annual applicants to its MBA program. And today we have a perfect person to tell you exactly how you might be able to get in, or at least to shift the odds in your favor. Uh, we have Rachel Erickson He, who is a GSB alum and was an MBA admissions interviewer at the school for many years. She's now a coach at Fortuna Admissions, a sponsor of our series. So welcome, Rachel. Hi, it's nice to be here. Thank you for having me. Now, as I mentioned before, GSB is highly selective, the most selective MBA program in the world, actually. So, so what is the school really looking for in a candidate? Stanford's academic work is actually very intense and quite demanding, and they want to make certain that anyone that they accept to the school is going to be able to succeed. Uh, they want to set them up for success. So that's the first thing that you have to be able to show. Um, and the others are more subjective, but more important. Uh, the first one is they really want to see a demonstrated pattern of excellence. They want to see in your coursework, in your professional life, that you've been in difficult and demanding and challenging situations and that you have been able to handle them, that you have stood out in those situations. And then the next one is leadership potential and they're looking at your past leadership experience to try to see a pattern that will predict what you can do in the future. And finally, the last but not least is that they're looking for someone that they really want to have as part of the class and as part of the Stanford community. And that's someone who shares their values, who they feel like uh, brings the sort of good values to Stanford and ones that they support. And then also someone that you would want to have as a classmate, that you'd want to work on a project with, that you'd want to uh, just hang out with. I think that's also uh, underrated in terms of its importance. Now, a lot of people think that if you want to do tech, you go to Stanford. But Stanford is so much more than that. Yes, I, I, I went to Stanford and I ended up working, uh, I was interested in publishing and ended up working at barnesandnoble.com, which was peripherally tech, but certainly not related to that. And um, I think any good business school, it really is just about teaching you how to think so that you can do anything. And Stanford wants people that do everything. They, they don't just want people who are interested in certain areas. Yeah, and in fact, when you look at the employment report, you find out that Stanford sends more people into private equity and venture capital than any other leading business school in the world, period. So how do you show the admissions committee that you're really motivated to come and do the work and do it well. I would say that stay away from the, I wanna to go to Stanford because I wanna do VC, Silicon Valley, work in Silicon Valley, be an entrepreneur. Um, they hear that all the time. You really have to get deeper than that because at the end of the day, it is a school. Uh, the professors are actually very proud of their work and think it's important. And you are there to take classes. You are not just there to network and socialize. And they want to see that that's important to you. And they want to see that connection to the academic side of things and what you expect to learn at school there. Stanford also has one of the most iconic essay questions of any business school. Yes. And it's one that's been out there for years. It's what matters most to you and why? And I have to say, that's, that's a pretty daunting question for a lot of young people. This is where they really want you to show the admissions committee why it is important for Stanford to let you in, what you will bring to the community and what you hope to do with that uh, MBA that matters. And Stanford, like other schools, has a number of short answer questions as well. What's your advice on tackling those? I think the first thing I would say is think about the things that you're really proud of uh, and talk about them. Make sure though, that they're about the things that you've done. Uh, this is not the time to talk about a project that your team worked on that was really successful. It should be about what you contributed. And then also for the background essay, one thing to keep in mind is that when Stanford says background, they really mean anything. It, it, it can be your work experience, it can be a hobby, it can be an interest, it can be the way that your parents raised you, it can be 
be something you love doing as a kid. It can be a language you speak. It, it, choose something that you think is important about who you are and where you came from and write about that. Now, Rachel, what are the most typical mistakes that candidates make in applying to the GSB? So number one is they get caught up in using jargon, use clear English. Anyone should be able to read it and understand it and understand like, oh, wow, that's really impressive. Oh, they did that. That's great. Any final words of advice? What you need to think about when you are putting together that application is you need to think of it as a puzzle and you need to put each of the pieces in one place that you, you know, figure out what the most important things are to say, put those pieces where they belong and try not to be repetitive and redundant. Um, sometimes people will uh, put something in an essay and I'll say, why did you need to put that there? It seems unnecessary. And they'll say, well, I want to make sure that they understand X. And I'm like, but you mentioned it three, you know, in your application that the, the reader just read that three minutes ago. Um, and when you're writing it, you don't necessarily see how closely tied uh, those things are and how quickly they come after each other. But when you're reading it, they really do, you know, it's right there. You don't need to repeat it in your application. Your resume should complement each other. Don't repeat the same information unless you really have to, to communicate a point. So Rachel, how can candidates reach you? The easiest thing to do is to sign up for a free consultation with Fortuna on, uh, you can do that through their website. That's the, probably the fastest and easiest way. Terrific. All right. You've been listening to Rachel Erickson Lee, who is the expert on Stanford GSB and admissions there. For Fortuna Admissions, this is part of our series on the inside story from MBA admission gatekeepers. And watch for our other episodes on every one of the really elite MBA programs in the world. This is John Byrne with Poets and Quants. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.